Good afternoon. We have a wonderful program planned for you, so we'd like to start now. Even though we know people are going to be coming in or just getting out of class or from their offices. My name is Ed Peck. I am the Vice President for Mission and Identity at John Carroll University. I am pleased to welcome you to this opportunity to meet a remarkable Jesuit, Father Fernando Cardinal. As part of our activities, we are planning to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the martyrs of El Salvador. Dr. Hodson and Father Cardinal, on behalf of Father Niehoff, the president of John Carroll University, Father Martin Connell, the rector of the Jesuit community, and all the students, staff, and faculty of John Carroll, and our neighbors and friends, we would like to welcome you to Cleveland. In just a moment, one of our students, Julie Honer, will introduce our group to you, as is customary in Nicaragua. For just a moment, though, I would like to tell the audience about you. Father Fernando Cardinal was born in 1934 into a wealthy family in Granada, Nicaragua. He is a Jesuit priest and has lived and worked in Nicaragua for most of his life. For the past 15 years, he has been the director of Fe y Alegría which is a vast network of schools for the economically poor in Nicaragua and throughout Central America. Father Cardinal has an honorary doctorate from Oxford College and Seattle University. While there is certainly more I could say about Father Cardinal, I want him to do so in his own words. Father Cardinal is assisted today by his colleague and friend, Dr. Irene Hudson. She is Professor of Spanish and Latin American Studies at Xavier University and is a past director of the Academic Service Learning Center from 2006 to 2013. She has taken students, staff, and faculty to Nicaragua and Central America since the early 1990s. Her early work with Paul Nitter led her to translate the biography of Archbishop Oscar Romero. We are grateful that she could be here today to translate for us. And now I would ask that Julie Honer, a senior psychology major theology and religious studies minor and leadership development minor to introduce our group to Father Cardinal. Julie, what language are you going to do it in? What language are you going to do it in? I'm going to do it in Spanish and then in English. Okay. Yeah. Then I don't have to work. <laughs> Padre Cardinal y Dr. Hudson. Bienvenidos a Cleveland, Ohio, y a la Universidad John Carroll. Estamos muy emocionados de tenerlo aquí. Tanto los estudiantes como los miembros del personal administrativo y del cuerpo docente, estamos muy interesados en aprender sobre su país, su gente, y sobre su vida, vida como sacerdote jesuita. Hoy están presentes en la audiencia algunas personas que han ido a Nicaragua y entre, entre ellos quienes han tenido el privilegio de conocerlo y de haber sido acogidos por usted. Asimismo, están presentes estudiantes y miembros del personal de la universidad que han tenido la oportunidad de visitar El Salvador y otros lugares de Centroamérica en programas de estudio en el exterior y de inmersión cultural. 
se encuentran a su vez presentes estudiantes de estudios de Latinoamérica, Español y Ciencia Política como parte de su currículo universitario. Todos compartimos un profundo interés por entender nuestra herencia católica jesuita y su compromiso con una fe que hace justicia. Muchas gracias por tomarse el tiempo para venir desde tan lejos para estar con nosotros y compartir tu historia. Father Cardinal and Dr. Hudson, welcome to Cleveland, Ohio and to John Carroll University. We are very excited to have you here. We are students, staff, and faculty who are very interested in learning about your country, your people, and your life as a Jesuit priest. In the audience today are some people who have been to Nicaragua, including some who have had the privilege of meeting you and being embraced by you, and others who have been to El Salvador and elsewhere in Central America. There are also students who are here today as part of their classes in Latin American studies, politics, and Spanish. All of us share a deep interest in understanding our Catholic Jesuit heritage and its commitment to a faith that does justice. Thank you for coming all this way to be with us and share your story. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Eh, quiero comenzar agradeciendo eh, a Ed Peck. I want to start vice, by thanking Ed Peck, vicepresidente de misiones de la universidad, vice president of mission for the university, que fue quien me invitó a estar aquí con ustedes. Who is who invited me to be here with you? Estoy muy agradecido. I am very appreciative. Para mí es un gusto estar hoy con ustedes aquí. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you. Me siento muy a gusto con el pueblo norteamericano. I like being among the North American people. Este pueblo, ustedes, durante décadas apoyó a nuestra gente en Nicaragua. The people of your country supported us in Nicaragua for many years. Y por eso siento y sentiré siempre un profundo agradecimiento al pueblo norteamericano. And I feel and will always feel a great sense of gratitude to the North American people. Eh, esta charla mía se da en el contexto de un homenaje a los jesuitas mártires de la Universidad UCA de El Salvador. And my talk is in the mark of, of a homage to the Jesuit martyrs of El Salvador in the Jesuit University in El Salvador. Ellos fueron compañeros de estudio como jesuitas conmigo. They, they were my companions as I studied to be a Jesuit. Y luego ya en el trabajo en Centroamérica formamos un equipo muy fuerte, muy unido en la lucha por la justicia en Centroamérica. And in Central America, we formed a very united and strong team struggling for justice in Central America. Fueron años muy duros, muy difíciles. Those were very hard and very difficult years. Con represión muy fuerte. With very great repression. Del gobierno de Nicaragua. From the part of the government of Nicaragua. El Salvador y Guatemala. El, El Salvador and Guatemala. La lucha era muy difícil, muy peligrosa. The struggle was very difficult and very dangerous. Pero seguimos adelante. But we kept moving forward. A ellos los mataron. And they killed them. Porque estorbaban. Because they bothered. Estorbaban el mensaje de Jesús que ellos llevaban adelante. They, they bothered because of the message of Jesus that they were carrying Estorbaba forward. Estorbaba al gobierno. This bothered the government. Estorbaba al ejército. It bothered the army. Y estorbaba a los empresarios más importantes del país. And it, it bothered the, the rich business owners that controlled the country. Eliminaron. And because of that, they were eliminated. It's interesting that they shot all of them in their heads como, como as a message. El en el Salvador. We are, as a message that we are wanting to eliminate thought in El Salvador. Entonces, con mucho cariño a ellos, so with great affection for them, hacemos este acto en un contexto de homenaje a estos seis mártires jesuitas. So this talk is done in the, in, within that framework of homage to them, que to the mis amigos, They were my friends, mis hermanos, my brothers, y mis compañeros de lucha. and my companions in the struggle. Honor, a ellos. Honor to them. Un poco con 
lo que me han pedido que cuente algo de mi historia. So I will begin a little bit with what, what they have asked me to do of telling my story. Yo hice mis estudios como jesuita en América Latina. I had, did my studies as a Jesuit in Latin America. En México, Ecuador y Perú. Mexico, Ecuador and Peru. En esos países había y hay todavía muchísima pobreza. In those countries there was and is a great deal of poverty. Una cantidad muy grande de indígenas. And a great quantity of indigenous people. Pero en esa época, but in that period, hace muchos años, many years ago, eh, nuestras facultades eran unos conventos muy cerrados. Our schools were very were closed as if they were convents. No teníamos contacto con el mundo, con la gente. We didn't have contact with the world or with people. Yo nunca durante esas tres carreras que hice en América Latina, I never during the three majors that I did in Latin America, nunca hablé personalmente con un, uno de los pobres o con uno de los indígenas. I never spoke directly with a poor person or with an indigenous person. Se decía que había que estudiar. They told us that we had to study. Estudiar. Study. Y estudiar. Única. And study. And that was all. Así terminé mis estudios académicos. So I finished my academic studies. Faltaba el último curso de los jesuitas. And I still had to do the last course as a Jesuit. Un curso organizado por San Ignacio de espiritualidad. A course that it were organized by St. Ignatius of Loyola on spiritually, spirituality. un jesuita que ha estado estudiando 15 años. So the spirituality of a Jesuit who'd been studying 15 years. Nueve meses al final. Nine months at the end. Cuando iba yo a hacer este curso, when I was going to do this course, tenía que ir a España. I had to go to Spain. En Centro América no teníamos ese curso. We didn't have this course in Central America. Estaba muy contento. I was really happy. Me parecía España un país maravilloso. I thought Spain is a marvelous country. En esa época nunca había estado en Europa. In in that period I had never been to Europe. No podía ni imaginarme. I couldn't even imagine. Que luego that later estaría en 80 ciudades de Europa. I would be in 80 different cities of Europe. Creo que pocas personas del mundo han estado en 80 ciudades de Europa. I think few people can say that they've been en in 80 cities in Europe. En ese momento era mi primera Europe. oportunidad de ir a Europa. And this was going to be my first opportunity to, to go to Europe. Tenía mucho deseo de luego de ir a Roma. And I wanted afterwards to go to Rome. Ver dónde vivió y trabajó San Ignacio de Loyola. To see where Ignatius of Loyola had lived and died, the founder of my order. Se ayudaron que fuera de lejos el Papa Pablo VI a quien yo admiraba. And to greet, even if it was waving at him from a distance, Pope Paul VI, who I very much admired. Pensaba regresar en tren por París. And I thought I would go back, but through Paris Una by de train. Más bella del mundo. One of the most beautiful cities in the world. Era perfecto el programa. It, it was a perfect plan. Pocos días antes de salir, a few days before I left, I got the information de que los colombianos habían trasladado ese curso de un lugar muy bello entre jardines a un barrio de extrema pobreza en las afueras de la ciudad de Medellín. That the Jesuits in Medellin had transferred their course from a beautiful city with gardens in, into a, a very poor neighborhood in Medellin. El curso que iba a dar ahí. And they were going to have the course there. Compraron tres casitas. They bought three little houses. Unidas por dentro. Joined together inside. Iba a ser la comunidad de los que fueran a hacer el curso allá. And that would be the community of those who did the course there. Yo estaba preparando mi viaje para Europa. I was preparing my trip to Europe. Cuando me vino esta información, But when I got this information, yo pensé, este I, es mi momento. I thought, this is my moment. Este es el momento en que yo puedo entrar en contacto con la pobreza de América Latina. This is my moment in which I can enter into direct contact with the poverty of Latin America. Que por el tipo de vida que llevamos no había podido hacer. Which because of the kind of life that we had at that point I had not been able to do. Medellín. So I went to Medellín. Nos reunimos nueve jesuitas colombianos. There were nine Colombian Jesuits, Dos Mexicanos, two Mexicans, y yo de Nicaragua. And, and I from Nicaragua. We distributed the tasks in the community. A mí me tocó ser comprador del pan. And one of mine was to be the be bread buyer. Because there wasn't any bread in, in, that, in our neighborhood. There also wasn't electrical energy anywhere. Water, sometimes no. yes, sometimes no. no había de salud. There wasn't a health center. No había escuela. There wasn't a school. No había nada más que There was nothing other than poverty. 
El primer día salgo muy temprano a cumplir mi obligación a comprar pan. So the first day I went out very early to carry out my task of buying bread. A buscar en alguno de los barrios vecinos donde podría comprar pan para nuestros compañeros. To look in one of the neighborhood, the neighboring barrios to see where I could buy bread. Encontré, compré una buena bolsa para mi compañero y comencé el regreso. So I found the bread, I bought a big package for my companions and started on my way back. En el camino me fui encontrando con niños con desnutrición en sus caras. On the way I encountered children that you could see the malnutrition in their faces. Me pedían un poco de pan. And they asked me for a little bread. Yo no les podía decir no. I couldn't say no. Esto es para unos jesuitas que están haciendo un curso muy espiritual. This is for Jesuits who are doing a very spiritual course. Yo hice allí lo que hubieran hecho cualquiera de ustedes. And I did what each one of you would have done. Dar un pedazo de pan a uno. Give a little piece of bread to one. Un pedazo de pan a otra. A little piece of bread to another one. Así en el camino hacia mi comunidad. So as I went along the path returning to my community. Cuando llegué allá. And when I got there, ya no había pan. there wasn't any bread left. <laughs> Se quedó en el camino. It had stayed along the path. So I said to my companions, you all have to make a very important decision. O nombran otro comprador. Or you name somebody else to buy bread. Because I cannot walk through children with hunger with bread in my hands. O se deciden a no comer pan los nueve meses que estemos aquí. Or, or you decide that you're not going to eat bread for the nine months that we're here. Nadie quiso aceptar el cargo de comprador de pan. Nobody wanted to take over the role of bread buyer. Porque sabían que le iba a pasar en el camino. They thought that, so knowing what would happen to him on the way. Esa fue la primera experiencia muy temprano del primer día. This was my very strong experience on the first morning of the first fue day. De contacto permanente con la pobreza y de choque permanente con la pobreza. It was constant encounters and shocks with or heavy blows with poverty, encounter with poverty. Frente a nuestra casa estaba la familia Jaramillo. In front of our house lived the Jaramillo family. Una pareja y siete niños. There was a couple and seven children. Cuando yo salía al barrio, todos iban conmigo siempre. When I would go out in the neighborhood, all of them would come Uno with me all the time. El vaso. One of them would take my glass, or my book, whatever I was carrying. They were always with me. I called them my small bodyguards. <laughs> One day I opened the door of our house. And I saw the eight Jaramillo children la basura de nuestra casa. eating the garbage from our house. Fue un golpe muy duro. That was a very heavy blow. Yo me había mucho con ellos. I had become very fond of them. Y ver a estos niños amigos míos comiéndose nuestra basura. And to see these children that were my friends eating our garbage was a really strong impression, really strong. Every day there was something terrible. There was a young girl con la que hice amistad, with whom I developed a good friendship. Eh, ella me había sus she had told me her dreams. What she wanted to do with her life, some very beautiful things. Eh, yo le tomé mucho cariño. And I became very fond of her. And one day when I came, when came out, I saw that she was coming toward me on the street. Pero veo que viene seria. But I saw that she had a very serious look on her face. Y algo le pasa. And I thought, something's Pero going on with her. Me veía, a hasta que donde yo. Normal, normally, when she saw me coming, she would get a big smile on her face and smile all the way up to where she had greeted me. Llegó donde me, but when she came to me, me dice, Padre, Vengo a despedirme de usted. She said, Father, I've come to say goodbye to you. ¿Para dónde va? Le digo. Where are you going? I said. Al centro de la ciudad de Medellín. To the center of the city of Medellín. ¿Qué vas a hacer allá? What are you going to do there? Y me dice, voy a dedicarme a la prostitución. She said, I'm going to become a prostitute. Un golpe muy fuerte, ¿no? That was a very hard Yo blow. Yo le tenía mucho cariño. I was very fond of her. Yo había sido testigo de su sueño. I'd been a witness to her dreams. Y ahora me dice que vas a dedicarse a la prostitución. And now she told me she was going to become a prostitute. Le dije, pero vas a destruir tu sueño. But I said, you're going to destroy your dreams. No. Pero voy a salir del barrio, me contestó. But I'm going to get out of this neighborhood, she Pero said. En la vas a tu de mujer. But in prostitution, you're going to destroy your dignity as a woman. 
Pero voy a salir del barrio. But I'm going to get out of this neighborhood. So I started talking to her about her dignity as a woman that would be destroyed in prostitution. But I realized she wasn't understanding me. And so I realized that the concept of the dignity of the human being, dignity of a woman, I had developed this I had developed this through my experiences in my home and my school. She had been born and grown up in misery. She hadn't had any opportunity to develop the concept of the dignity of the human Today we would say she had very low self-esteem. When I realized that she didn't understand my words, I said goodbye to her. I gave her a very big hug con mucho cariño, with a great deal of affection con mucha tristeza. and with a great deal of sadness. Nunca la volví a ver. I never saw her again. Nunca regresó al barrio. She never came back to the neighborhood. Eso fue hace 44 años. That was 44 years ago. El impacto fue tan fuerte but the impact was so great recuerdo en qué parte de la calle estábamos esta I remember exactly where we were on the street when this conversation took place. Hay cosas muy en la vida, uno hasta muy when there are very strong impressions in life, you remember very small details. Miren, todos los días había choques que me hacían a mí sufrir. Every day there were encounters, strong encounters that made me suffer. My problem wasn't the life that we were leading. It was seeing the suffering of my neighbors that I was becoming very fond of. Every day. Why were the Jaramillo children eating our garbage? Because they were because they were hungry, it's obvious. Why were they hungry? I saw what they were eating. Arepa, in Colombia, es maíz en forma redonda. And uh, the arepas, which are a, a corn in a round en México, form. Y en Centro América, la tortilla es en forma de plato. In Mexico and Central America, the tortilla is flat in the form of a plate. Es redonda. But it's round in Colombia. Ladrillo de azúcar negra. Then they also had a kind of a brick of brown sugar. So una taza de agua caliente. And over a cup of hot Porque water. El clima en Medellín es fresco. The, it's, it's cool in Medellín. Rapaban con un cuchillo. They would take a knife and scrape la taza, over la the cup the sugar. Entonces, en resumen, ¿qué so in summary, what were they eating? Maíz. Corn. Y agua con azúcar. And water with sugar. Nada más. Nothing more. Así pueden ustedes entender so you can see why my little friends were eating our garbage. Bueno, nueve meses, Nine months. Todos los días, every day. Que me hacía sufrir, something that made me suffer. Porque yo hice muchas amistades con mi vecino. Because I developed great friendships yo me with my el barrio como un gran lago, I imagined the neighborhood as a big lake of suffering. En el que todos estaban sumergidos, in which all of them were submerged sin esperanza, without hope sufriendo, sin esperanza, suffering without hope todos. all of them as I was going walking through the neighborhood I kept repeating one word in my head insoportable, insoportable, insoportable. unbearable unbearable La vida unbearable de estos mis amigos, Es insoportable. My friends' lives are unbearable. Ni como ser humano, N neither as a human ni being, como as puedo que hay que vivan así. or as a Christian, can I accept Eso that people that cambiar. live this way? Eso tiene que this has to change. It has to change. Bueno, así hasta el final. And so I got to the end of the course, muy golpeado, muy adolorido. <laughs> very buffeted by this, very uh, in pain. Le comuniqué a mi vecino que yo tenía que regresar. Porque mis superiores me destinaron a la Universidad Centroamericana, la UCA, de Managua. And I told them that I had to leave because my superior had signed, assigned me to the UCA, the Jesuit University in Managua. A trabajar en la formación de los estudiantes. To de work in the formation of the students in the university. 
Entonces, cuando yo les comunico que voy a eso, no quieren dejarme salir. So when I told them that I had to leave, they quieren didn't want to let me go. Quieren que vivir con ellos. They wanted me to stay and live with them. Yo les digo, miren, yo soy jesuita centroamericano. And I said, look, I'm a Central American Jesuit. He venido a la compañía de Jesús de Colombia a hacer este curso. I've come to the Society of Jesus in Colombia to do this course. Y ahora course. regreso a mi provincia que es Centroamérica. And now I have to go back to my province, which no, is Central America. They didn't care about that. <laughs> they wanted me to stay with them. Entonces me salió decir algo improvisado. So it occurred to me to say something in an improvised en fashion. Lo que no había nunca. Something that had not even occurred to me till then. Dime, miren, yo tengo que irme. Look, I have to go. Pero quiero dejarles algo mío. But I want to leave something of myself with you. Quiero dejarles una promesa solemne ante Dios. I want to leave my solemn promise before God. Que dedicaré mi vida desde hoy hasta que me muera. That I will dedicate my life from now until I die. A la lucha por la liberación de los pobres. For the struggle for the liberation of the poor. Y a la lucha por la justicia. And the struggle for justice. Por amor a ustedes. Because of my love for you. Recordándolos ustedes. Remembering you. Liberación de los pobres. The liberation of the poor. Lucha por la justicia. And the struggle for en justice. En cualquier trabajo que me pongan los jesuitas. In whatever job. En cualquier that, país que me pongan in whatever job the Jesuits put me in and whatever country they send me to because of my love for you. So when they heard that, they let me leave. I went back to Managua to begin my work there. My, my superiors had destined me for a long time to work in the formation of young people. O en, un, o en una escuela, o en una high school, o en una universidad. O en una high school, o en una universidad, but formation of the young people. Yo pensaba que mi vida iba a ser muy tranquila hasta el final. I thought my life would be very peaceful all the way to the end. En un colegio, en una universidad. En una high school, o en una universidad. Trabajando en lo que me gustaba. Working in what I liked. En paz y tranquilidad hasta el final. En peace and tranquility. Bueno, llego a la universidad. So I got to the university. El rector era... Un gran amigo mío. The president of the university was a great friend of mine. Fue consejero mío cuando yo estaba en la secundaria, en high school. He had been my advisor when I was in high school. Él me ayudó en mi formación. And he had aided me in my formation. Yo le tenía mucho agradecimiento, mucho cariño. And I had a great deal of gratitude and affection Pero for him. Pero más admiración. And an admiration. Porque tenía un gran carisma en la formación de los jóvenes. It's because he had great charism in the formation of young people. Yo quería ser como él. I wanted to be like him. Entonces es el rector de la universidad. So the president of the university. En esa época, hace 60 años. In, the, in this period, 60 40, years ago. Hace 40 años. Oh, 40, 40 years 40, ago. 44 años exactamente. 44 years ago, exactly. Eh, no había eh, teléfono celular. There weren't cell phones. No había computadora. There weren't computers. No había ninguna información de cómo trabajaba él. The, I didn't have any information on how he worked. Yo solo sabía que mi amigo había fundado la universidad centroamericana. I just knew that my friend had founded the Central American University. Y que había pedido que yo llegara a trabajar allá. And was the president, and that he had asked that I come and work there. Llego lunes primer día de trabajo. I got there Monday first day of work. Y me encuentro con la sorpresa de que mi amigo el rector me nombró vicerrector de la universidad esa mañana. And I found myself surprised by the fact that my friend, the president, no, no, had named no, no, me no, vice no, president that morning. No, 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 no. I hadn't done anything yet. No, 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 no. And I'm already the vice president. Pero me di cuenta que él llevaba la universidad una forma dictatorial. But I realized that he conducted the university in a very dictatorial no, manner. Lo que él hacía, nada más. You did what he said, nothing else. Me entristeció mucho. And this made me very sad. Porque yo que tenía mucho cariño. Because I was very fond of him. Eso explica por qué me nombran vicerrector el primer día antes de comenzar a trabajar. And that explains why he named me vice president the Pero first day even before I began to work. Pero veo en papeles de los estudiantes pidiendo diálogo al rector. And I saw all over the university papers posted with the students asking for dialogue with the president. Terminó el día lunes. Y mi amigo el rector no dio el diálogo. So Monday came and went and there was no dialogue. Decía, ¿por qué será, no? And I said, why, why won't he do this? Sí, el diálogo es la forma en que se entiende la persona civilizada, ¿no? The dialogue is the way that civilized people understand one another. Día martes, segundo día de trabajo. So Tuesday, my second day of work. Más papeles de los estudiantes exigiendo un diálogo. More posters in the university with the students demanding dialogue. Yo preguntaba, 
¿Por qué no darán diálogo, rector? And so I ask myself, why won't the president have dialogue? Es importante, importante. It's important to have dialogue with the students. Pasó el martes sin dar diálogo. So Mar uh, Tuesday went by with no conversation. Tercer día de trabajo, miércoles. My third day of work, Wednesday. El movimiento estudiantil se tomó toda la universidad. The student movement took over the university. Todas las oficinas. All the offices. Y convocó a los estudiantes al gimnasio. And they summoned all of the students to the gymnasium to explain why they had taken over the university. Yo dije, yo tengo que ir ahí a oír. And I said, I have to go and listen. Si voy a con ellos, If I'm going to work with them, tengo que lo que con I have to know what the students think. Fui al so I went to the gymnasium. Lleno. It was full. Yo me puse detrás del último. And I stood behind the last row Para oír. to listen. Entonces, Alfonso Garcia, el presidente del movimiento estudiantil. Alfonso García, who was the president of the student movement. No hemos tomado la universidad exigiendo primero diálogo con el rector. Said that we've taken over the university. First of all, we are demanding dialogue with the with the president. Yo estoy atrás. And I'm at the back of the room listening. Y pienso, me parece justo. And I say to myself, that sounds reasonable. Segundo, Second, participación de los estudiantes en las diversas instancias de dirección de la universidad. And second, we want participation on the part of the students in the in the different levels of the university. Yo en esos tres días me había dado cuenta que los estudiantes no tenían ninguna participación. In those three days, I'd realized that the students didn't Entonces, weren't able to participate in any of this. Pensé, la segunda petición también es justa. So I thought to myself, the second request is also just. Tercera petición, reforma de los estatutos. And then the third petition was a reform of the statutes of the university. Yo me había enterado en esos tres días de que mi amigo cuando fundó la universidad con una pequeña escuela so hizo I, unos estatutos como para esa pequeña escuela. So I had realized in these three days that my friend when he founded the university had written the statutes for a small school. Pero ya la universidad grande. But the university was big. And the university wanted the statutes to reflect the reality of the university. And so at the back of the room I thought to myself, this third request is also just. But I'm tranquilly at the back listening. What I never imagined was that Alfonso Garcia was going to say, now we're going to hear from the new vice president. I almost died of shock. I'd gone to listen. And now they're saying that I'm going to talk. I've been in the university three days. I was barely getting to know my work. And my first reaction was, I, I can't, I don't want to speak. But then I thought, this is impossible. No puedo a con el I can't begin to work with students Yo by refusing to speak to them. I have to talk. Although I, I thought also quickly, que si yo decía lo que pensando, if I said there what I was thinking, mi amigo, el rector, my friend the president would consider me a traitor to his friendship. And the thought of that hurt. También pensé, Rápidamente. I also thought ¿Qué rapidly, el superior de los jesuitas de Centroamérica? What will the superior of the Jesuits in Central America think? Si yo siendo jesuita, if as a Jesuit, en una universidad de los jesuitas, at a Jesuit university, no defiendo al rector jesuita. If I don't stand up for the Jesuit president. Entonces no había teléfono celular para marcar San Salvador. But there wasn't, pero, ¿qué there, digo? Weren't, <laughs> there weren't cell phones for me to call him and say in San Salvador and say, what do I do? Pero mientras el megáfono venía a mí, and while the megaphone was being passed back to me, yo muy rápidamente vi una cosa muy clara. I saw something very clearly. Yo tenía que decir ahí lo que había pensado. I had to say there what I was thinking. Pasara lo que pasara. Whatever happened. Porque de lo contrario, because if I didn't, estaría traicionando. I would be betraying. Just three days later, the promise I'd made in Medellín. No era caso de liberación de los pobres. This wasn't a case of liberation of the poor, but this was a case of justice. La justicia estaba de parte de los estudiantes. And the justice was on the part of the students. Llega el megáfono. So the megaphone comes to me. Le digo, compañeras, compañeros. And I say, Compa co companions, colleagues. He escuchado las palabras 
del presidente del movimiento estudiantil. I've heard the words of the president of the student movement. Y considero que son justas. And I consider that they're just. Me pude haber quedado allí. I could have stopped there. Pero todos me están viendo. But all of them were looking at todos me. Todos los jóvenes me están viendo. All these young people were looking Yo at me. Yo me emociono al ver las personas con las que voy a trabajar supuestamente toda mi vida. And I was really moved looking at these young people me that I was going to work with más. for the rest of my life and I said Yo more. Yo apoyaré las peticiones de ustedes. I will support your petitions mientras las pidan justamente. As long as you ask for them in a just way violencia. without violence. En forma pacífica. In a Pacific way. Because all of the takeovers of the university involved throwing rocks, breaking windows. I will support you as long as you act in a peaceful way. And I thought I was going to have this peaceful life in the formation of the, the young people, and in just three days I was in trouble. And my friend, the president, threw me out of the university without consulting the Central American provincial, who was very unhappy. And he said, I'm going to remove the right to the president. And you'll be back in the university. Yo voy a al y tú a la I'm going to get rid of the president, and you'll be back at the university. Pero hay que comprender el contexto de Nicaragua en ese momento. But you have to think about the context of Nicaragua at that time. Había durante 45 años estado tres de la familia Somoza. For 45 years in the government, there had been three members of the Somoza family. Llevando un gobierno dictatorial. With a dictatorship. Criminal. Criminal, asesino, murdering, sangriento, bloodthirsty. En 45 años, el ejército personal del presidente. And for 45 years, the personal army of the dictator personas, had killed 50,000 people. Sencillamente por oponerse al gobierno. Just because of their opposition to the government. Ese es el gobierno. And so that was the government. Mi amigo el rector. My friend, the president. Era primo del presidente Somoza. Del was a cousin of President y, Somoza. Ahí se le pegó a mi pobre querido. Presidente. Something had rubbed a off on him. Amigo Jesuita, algo se le pegó. On, on my, my Jesuit friend, something had rubbed off on him from his este cousin, gobierno, from the government. No permitió que quitaran al rector. And the government said that they would not let the rector or the president be replaced. Que pudiera salir por los aeropuertos por si el provincial lo quería sacar de Nicaragua. And they prohibited him leaving at the airport so that he could, the provincial could not get him out of Nicaragua. A que tocaran al rector de la universidad. So the president said that he was opposed to them touching the president of the university. Tenía problema para poder quitarlo. So the, the, the provincial had problems with being yo, able to remove him. Yo no voy a esperar. But I said, I'm not going to wait. Me fui a la universidad nacional. I went to the national university. Yo también había sacado título en filosofía. One of my degrees was in philosophy. Y con ese título entré a la universidad. So with that I was able to teach at the university. No porque me interesara mucho, le confieso, La Not, I confess, because I was that Porque interested in philosophy. Medieval, Aquino, no what I'd studied was just medieval philosophy, St. Thomas Aquinas, me and it, I didn't interest me much. <laughs> me estar con I wanted, what I wanted was to be with the students. El and we founded the Christian Revolutionary Movement. Terminando el contexto, está el gobierno en la montaña. So, finishing the context, there's the government, and in, in the mountains there were a group of university students who had formed a, a revolutionary guerrilla movement against Somoza's army with two objectives, get rid of the dictatorship and build a new country where the poor would have a privileged place. <laughs> And our movement in the university, the Christian Revolutionary Movement, had two objectives. Struggle against the dictatorship and construct a new Nicaragua where the poor would have a privileged place. The same objectives as those in the mountains. Although those in the mountains had, had a Marxist orientation. And we were deeply Christian. Our movement had come out of have had come out of retreats with the students. And in those, they had decided to struggle for the poor in Nicaragua. 
Un día me dice un estudiante. One day a student said to me. Hay un dirigente del frente. Este movimiento de los estudiantes se llama Frente Sandinista de Liberación Nacional. One of the students said to me that the the student movement was called the Sandinista Front for National Liberation. Sandinista por el héroe nacional Sandino. Sandinista because of the national hero of Sandino. Hay un dirigente del Frente Sandinista que quiere hablar con usted. So there's a he said there's a member a leader of the Sandinista Front who wants to talk to you. Acepta. Will you accept? Yo había estado poniendo mi vida. En el trabajo de la universidad. And I had been I had been risking my life at the in the work at the university. Porque eh, nosotros luchábamos contra la dictadura en las asambleas públicas. Because we were talking about the, against y the dictatorship. En pancartas contra la dictadura. In public assemblies and going out with banners into the streets. Catorce de los jóvenes que estaban conmigo fueron asesinados. Fourteen of the young people who worked with me were killed. Sí. En mi memoria, después les cuento. In my memoirs, en el capítulo octavo, in the eighth chapter, se llama Héroes del Movimiento Cristiano Revolucionario. I call it the Heroes of the Christian Revolutionary Movement. Y cuento la vida de los catorce que murieron. And I tell the stories of the fourteen who died. Estamos, estamos en peligro. We were in danger. Pero ahora me proponen hablar con un dirigente. But now they propose to me talking to a leader. ¿Qué sospecha de contacto con la guerrilla? Any suspicion of contact with the guerrillas. Three things could happen to you. Captura, to be taken prisoner, tortura, tortured, y and killed. Acepta hablar con este dirigente. So, do you accept to talk to this leader? Yo dije, Ellos están buscando lo mismo que nosotros. And I thought, but they're looking for the same things we are. Yo tengo que conocer el movimiento guerrillero. I have to get to know the, the guerrilla movement. Va a ser muy peligroso. Even though it was very dangerous, yo tengo que oír algo que but I have to listen to the, the guerrillas. So I had the meeting en un lugar secreto. in a secret place. Eh, un joven me dice, yo soy Marcos. And this young man said to me, My, I'm Marcos. Marcos era su but Marcos was his pseudonym. Hablamos. We talked. De la realidad de Nicaragua, about the reality de la, de la of Nicaragua, pobreza Nicaragua, about the poverty de la of Nicaragua, de Somoza, about the Somoza dictatorship. Yo también hice preguntas and I also asked questions importantes para mí. that were important for me. Pues Marcos, I said, Ted Marcos, yo quiero saber cómo es la revolución de ustedes. I want to know what your revolution is like. Porque todas en la historia, todas las revoluciones en la historia, all the revolutions in history, la francesa, the French one, la soviética, the Russian one, la mexicana, the Mexican one, la cubana, the Cuban one, se han hecho sin los cristianos, have been done without the Christians, cristianos, in spite of the Christians, o los cristianos. or against the Christians. ¿Cómo es la de Yo what, is your what is your revolution like? I'm a priest. Yo quiero saber qué pasa con nosotros en una como esta. And I want to know what will happen to us in a revolution like Entonces yours. Me dio los estatutos del Frente Sandinista. So he gave me the statutes of the Sandinista por el fundador Frank, Carlos Fonseca. Written by the founder Carlos Fonseca. Se dice que se respetará la religión del pueblo de Nicaragua. And it said that we will respect the religion of the Nicaraguan people. Se apoyará a los sacerdotes que trabajan por el pueblo. And we will support the priests who are working for the people. Y toda una serie de artículos en los que yo comprendí que era una revolución diferente a todas las anteriores. So there were a series of articles in the in the statutes that I realized that it was a very muy, different muy, revolution than previous ones. Muy nicaragüense. Eh? Very Nicaraguan. Y muy respetuosa de este pueblo que es profundamente religioso. And very respectful of these of this people that is profoundly religious. Bueno, cuando terminamos de conversar. So when we ended it, we finished our talk. Yo creo que ya me voy. And I thought I was leaving. Me dice, estoy autorizado. He said, I'm authorized para usted to ask you to join the revolution. <laughs> and I almost died of shock. Me pasó como en el de la universidad. Like in the gym at the Yo university. Había ido ahí a oír. I'd gone there to listen. Y ahora me dicen que me a en la and now they're inviting me to join the revolution. Yo sentí una de decir sí. And spontaneously I had a desire to say yes. ¿Por qué para los pobres? Because it was for the poor. En mis de Medellín, thinking of my friends in Medellín. En mi thinking of my own. My promise. Una más que But I asked myself a more important question. Marco me dice, Padre, nos ayudas a ayudar 
al pueblo de Nicaragua que está tendido en el suelo por la pobreza y la dictadura nos ayuda? Marcos was saying to me, Father, will you help us to help the people of Nicaragua that are lying wounded along the road? Entrando, entrando la revolución. By entering the revolution. Mi pregunta importante era, ¿qué querrá Dios que yo conteste? And my big question was, what would God want me to answer? En ese momento, se me vino a la memoria rápidamente. And it, it came to mind very quickly. Un pasaje del Evangelio. Uh, a phrase uh, or a story from the Bible. Alguna pregunta Jesús no contestaba directamente. Jesus didn't always answer questions directly. Lo que contaba un cuentecito. So he would tell little stories. Llamadas parábolas. Called par parables. Donde iba la respuesta. And the answer was in them. Recordé un pasaje donde se dice que se le acercó, está en Lucas 10, se le acercó un doctor de la ley y le pregunta Maestro, ¿quién es mi prójimo? So I remembered when it, in, I think it's Luke 10, when a doctor of law comes to Jesus and says, Rabbi, who is my neighbor? Entonces Jesús le contesta, and Jesus había answered un hombre him, que iba en un camino, there was a man who was going along a road, fue asaltado por ladrones, and he was set upon by fue thieves, herido, he was wounded, lo dejaron tendido en el camino. and they left him lying along the road. Detrás venía un sacerdote judío. And there was a Jewish priest that came along. Dice Jesús que el sacerdote al ver al herido se fue por otro camino. And Jesus said that the priest upon Pero seeing the wounded man went another way. Tal vez el sacerdote consideró que en el templo tenía cosas muy sagradas. And I thought well maybe the, the priest thought that he had very important things to do no at the temple. Distraerse con un herido. And that he couldn't distract himself with a wounded Sigue man. Sigue Jesús contando que detrás venía un levita. And then Jesus said there was a Levite that came que eran los encargados de los, sacra, de, los, de, de los sacrificios en el templo. Who were those who were in charge of the sacrifices at the temple. Dice Jesús que el levita al ver al herido se fue por otro camino. And Jesus said that the Levite upon seeing the wounded man went another way. Yo pensé lo mismo que del sacerdote. And I thought of the same thing as about the Pero priest. Pero continúa Jesús. Dice detrás venía un samaritano. But then Jesus said that then there became a Samaritan. ¿Quiénes eran estos señores? ¿Quiénes eran, quiénes eran los samaritanos? Oh, who, who are the Samaritans? Personas odiadas por los judíos. They were people who were hated by the Jews. No podían ni saludarse. They wouldn't even say hello to them. Eran además de diferente religión. And they were of a different religion also. Los judíos tenían su, 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 su religión en el, en el monte Jerusalén. The Jews had their religious center in the mountain of Jerusalem. Y los samaritanos en el monte Garizim. And the, the Samaritans in the Mount Eran of Garizim. Eran por gente mala. They considered them bad people. Dice Jesús que el vio al herido, and Jesus said that the Samaritan saw the acercó, wounded man, went up to him, y a and began to treat his wounds. Lo montó en su caballo, he put him on his horse y lo llevó a una pedería, and took him to an inn, ahí lo dejó, left him there, le dijo niño, sigue, sigue curándolo, and said to the innkeeper, regreso, take care of him, el dinero que gastes. and on my way back I will pay you any money that you spend. Ahí termina la parábola. And that's where the parable ends. Jesús le dice al doctor de ley. And Jesus said to the doctor of law. ¿Quién crees tú que fue el prójimo del que estaba herido? Who do you think was the neighbor of the wounded man? El doctor de la ley le dice el que tuvo misericordia. And the doctor of the law says the one who had compassion on him. Jesús le dice muy bien. And Jesus Vete said. Vete y haz tú lo mismo. Good. Go and do the same. Haz tú lo mismo. Do the same. Haz tú lo mismo. Do the same. Esa palabra, esa frase me queda dando vuelta a mí. And so that phrase was was in my head. Yo en ese momento fui consciente muy profundamente. At that moment I was profoundly conscious. De que Jesús me estaba diciendo that no conteste como el sacerdote y como el levita. That Jesus was saying to me, don't answer like the priest and the Levite. No le digas a Marcos que no puedes entrar en la unción porque eres sacerdote. Tiene los sacramentos, tiene la Eucaristía, no puedes. Don't tell Marcos no. that you can't go into the revolution because you're a priest and you have the sacraments and the Eucharist. Haz tú lo mismo. You do the same. Entonces yo le dije a Marcos, cuenten conmigo. So then I told Marcos, you can count Pensando on me. Pensando en mis amigos de Medellín. Thinking about my friends in Medellín. Pero movido profundamente por la palabra de Jesús. But profoundly moved by the words of Jesus. Entonces me dice Marco, bueno, tu nombre va a ser Justo. So Marco said to me, we will call you. Your pseudonym will be Justo, just. Eh, me pudo haber puesto Eduardo, Jaime. He could have called me Carlos. Edward, James. 
Me puso justo. But he gave me the name of justo. Yo pensé que tal vez que ellos habían comprendido que mi motivación era la justicia. And I thought they must they have understood that my motivation is justice. Por eso mi pseudónimo fue justo. So that my my pseudonym was just. Entonces le pregunté yo a Marcos. So I answered Marcos. Marcos, ¿qué hay de mí? ¿Qué hay para mí de la lucha armada? What role is there for me in the armed struggle? Tú me dices, Marco, mire, en la montaña hay jóvenes de 18 años que son muy buenos combatientes. Marco said, well, in the mountains there are young people that are 18 that are really good combatants. Mejor de lo que tú podrías llegar a ser. Better than you could be. Como combatiente. As a combatant. Yo entonces tenía 35 años. I was 35 years old at the time. Pero ese joven. But this young people, who is a good fighter, no puede hacer lo que tú estás haciendo, can't do what you're doing en la in the university, en la iglesia, in the church, en la sociedad. in the society. El joven seguirá en la montaña, the young person will continue in the mountains, trabajando para la revolución. but we want you to continue working for the revolution, Por supuesto, en secreto, of course in secret, de forma clandestina, in a clandestine way. En la universidad, in the university, en la iglesia, en la it, in the church and in the society. A mí me muy and that seemed very sensible to me. But I'd, I'd accept it first and then I asked what my role was going to be in the revolution. Me reunía de vez en cuando con Marcos. I would meet sometimes with Marcos. A mí me enseñaron el arte de chequeo y contrachequeo. They taught me the, the system for check Para and counter check si passwords. Para saber si la seguridad del Estado. Because if you're being Cosa followed técnica, by the security of the state, si state security. La seguridad del Estado donde está Marcos. Because if I took state security to where I was meeting with Marcos. Él, me matan a mí. They'll kill, they would kill him and me. Muy seguro de que nadie te seguía. You have to be really sure that someone wasn't following. Dice, Marco, mira, In one meeting, Marco said to me, mientras el gobierno norteamericano siga dando apoyo militar a Somoza, va a ser muy difícil de agotarlo. As long as the United States government continues giving to support to Somoza, it will be very difficult for us to defeat his army. Yo dije, Marco, razón. And I said, Marco, you're right. Siga Marco, me dice, por eso es importante lograr que el gobierno norteamericano Corte la ayuda militar a Somoza. So it's very important that we get the U.S. government to cut off aid to Somoza. Me parece correcto, Marcos. And I thought, that's, that's correct, Marcos. Junto al Congreso norteamericano está un organismo de solidaridad con América Latina de Maguola, Washington Office of America Latina. Near the U.S. Congress, there's an, an, an office, WOLA, the Washington Office on Latin America. Que ha conseguido que el Congreso norteamericano invite a un nicaragüense and they have gotten the North American Congress to Paría invite a Nicaraguan todo lo que está con esa ayuda que to go and denounce what Somoza is doing with the aid that he's receiving. Fantástico, yo buenísimo, buenísimo, so I thought, fantastic, this is great. Sí, me dice, pero hemos decidido que vayas tú. And he said, but we've decided that you should go. Casi me muero. I almost died. Bueno, antes quiero decirle que mis memorias se llaman Sacerdote en la revolución. So, uh, before I want to tell you that my memoirs are called Son Priest in the Revolution. There are two volumes. páginas de todas las aventuras que nunca había soñado que iba a tener. 500 pages of all the adventures that I had never dreamed I would have. El primer capítulo the de first chapter of my memoirs no comienza con mi infancia, mi papá, mi familia. It doesn't begin with my childhood, my parents, my family. Se llama it's called the key to what to the key to everything that happened afterwards. Aquí cuento lo de Medellín. So there I tell the story of Medellín in the first chapter. Esto explica todo lo que pasó después. And this explains everything that happened afterwards. Y todos los problemas que tuve en la lucha contra la dictadura y después y todo. And all the problems that I had in the struggle against the dictator. Todo se explica por mi juramento en Medellín. Todo se explica por mi juramento en Medellín. Everything is explained by my oath in Medellín. Bueno. Cuando Marco me dice, hemos escogido que tú vayas al Congreso. So when Marco said to me, we have chosen you to go Marco, to Congress. Quiero decirte varias cosas. I said, Marcos, I want to say several things. Primero, esa misión me parece importantísima. First, this mission seems to me to be extremely important. Segundo, esa misión me parece peligrosísima. Second, it seems to me to be very dangerous. Era ir al Congreso. To go to the Congress, al de to denounce the president of Nicaragua, corrupto, 
as corrupt, torturador, a torturer, y asesino. and a murderer. Bueno. Well, Tercero. third, Quiero decirte, I want to tell you la that I accept the mission. En julio, en julio, julio, de 1976 estuve en el Congreso norteamericano en Washington. In July of 1976 I was at the US Congress in Washington. Al presidente de mi país. Denouncing the president of my country. Por ladrón. As a thief. Torturador. A torturer asesino. and a murderer. Hubo un momento difícil. It was a mo difficult moment. Momento muy importante. A very important eh, moment. Había muchos que veían eh, la lucha militar algunos congresistas mal. There were several, of, many of the congressmen who looked on armed struggle as something bad. In junio, julio, in julio, de 76, ustedes estaban celebrando los 200 años de la independencia de los Estados Unidos. In July of 1976, you were accepting, you were celebrating the bicentennial of U.S. independence. Yo aproveché eso con congresistas. And I took advantage of this to talk to the Congress and say, look. Al comienzo de la independencia hubo lucha armada. At the beginning of your independence you had Ahora an armed struggle. Ahora son padres de la patria. And now they're the, the heroes, the founding fathers no of the country. Estamos en la parte primera, en la lucha armada. Estamos en la parte de la lucha armada. We are in the first stages of this kind of, of armed struggle. Pero claro, en el ambiente de la independencia. So in the, in the atmosphere of the bicentennial. Se comprendió mejor nuestra lucha. They understood claro. our struggle better. Quiero dejar claro. Que yo en el Congreso no estaba como miembro de la Revolución. I, I want to make it clear that I wasn't there as a member of the Revolution. Eso hubiera sido suicida. That would have been suicidal. Yo fui allá como un sacerdote. I went there as a priest. Interesado en los derechos humanos. Interested in human rights. Y una democracia. And democracy. Esa fue la cara que yo presentaba. That was the face that I presented to them. Me dijo un congresista, usted se queda a vivir ahora en Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? One of the congressmen said, you're going to stay and live in the United States no, now, aren't you? Yo regreso a Nicaragua. And I said, no, I'm going back to Nicaragua. ¿Cómo me dice? How, he said. Si es verdad lo que usted ha dicho de ese señor. If it's true what you've said about this allá? man, how can you go back there? Bueno, yo he dicho que es un asesino. And I said, I've told you that he's a murderer. Pero no he dicho que sea estúpido. But I haven't told you he's stupid. A mí no me, no me va a matar a llegar allá. He's not going to kill me when I get back si there. Si él me mata cuando yo llegue a Managua. If, if he kills me when I get back to Managua. Como firmar mi testimonio diciendo que todo eso es cierto, todo lo que ha dicho el padre es cierto. It would be like signing, signing a statement that everything that no the father said is true. Y así fue, y él dije, Nunca llegaré a Nicaragua en forma tan gloriosa como ahora. I said I'll never have such a glorious arrival in Nicaragua as I will this time. Para que todo lo que he dicho es falso. Because they're wanting, going to want to try to prove that everything I've y said was sucedió, false. Y así sucedió. And that's how it happened. En el 76 no había paso directo del avión al aeropuerto. In 76 you didn't have a boarding bridge. Uno bajaba. You eh, came down the stairs onto the tarmac. A la pista. Cuando bajé del avión. And when I got off the plane, there were the reporters from Somoza's newspaper, Novedades, and photographers. They took one of my, brought one of my brothers to meet me with two little children. And they asked me to pick up one of the children, and they took photos. The next day, in the periódico Somoza, in the first page, there was a great photo of me. On the front page of Samosa's newspaper, there was a big photograph of me with, with the child. El calumniador regresa a Nicaragua que está en paz y tranquilidad. The caption was, the liar returns to the peaceful and tranquil Nicaragua. Todos los días me acusaron de mentiroso, calumniador, y llegaron a acusarme de traidor a la patria. And every day they accused me of being a liar and a slanderer and accused me of being a traitor to my country. Yo no hablé contra la patria. I didn't talk against my country. Yo hablé contra el presidente. I talked against the president. Y eso era peligroso. But that was dangerous. Porque cualquier soldado me podía matar en la calle. Because they could kill me in the street. Pensando, es el traidor. Thinking wow. that I was a traitor. Pues eso, al comienzo yo estuve viviendo públicamente. At the, beginning, at the beginning, I continued living publicly, but later I had to go into a safe house. We would only go out for important meetings, and you got disguised with false papers. I dyed my hair, I had a mustache. Entonces, eh, se formó un grupo 
de 12 personalidades. They formed a group of 12 people. Para que fuéramos, me, me nombraron a mí también. And they, not, they named me to this group. Para ir por América Latina. To go throughout Latin America. Hablando con los presidentes de, de, de América Latina. Talking to the Latin American presidents. Para conseguir apoyo para to, Nicaragua. To get their support for Nicaragua. Eh, fue una misión muy importante. It was a very important mission. El presidente Carlos Andrés Pérez de Venezuela. President Carlos Andrés Pérez of Venezuela. De, de los 12. Nos daba 100 mil dólares mensuales en efectivo. Gave the, the group of 12 a hundred thousand dollars a month in cash. Dollars that at that time were worth five times what they are today. Armas. And we used them to buy arms Panamá. that we sent to Panama. En Panamá el presidente Omar Torrijos también era nuestro amigo. And in Panama, the president Omar Torrijos was also our friend. Yo personalmente hablé primero con él. I'm the one who spoke with him first. Luego el grupo de los 12. And then the group of 12. He was an ally of ours. Las armas llegaban a Panamá. And then the arms would arrive in Panama. En un avión de la Fuerza Aérea Panameña. And then a, a plane of the Panamanian Air Force. A Costa Rica. Would take them to Costa Rica. El presidente de Costa Rica era aliado nuestro también. The president of Costa Rica was also our ally. El presidente Rodrigo Carazo. The president Rodrigo Carazo. Designó un hangar en el aeropuerto. And he gave us a hangar at the airport. Para que bajaran las armas allí. To put the arms in. Y nuestros guerrilleros llegaban. And, en and then our guerrillas would come in trucks and take them. Costa, Costa Rica, they would go through Costa Rica, la frontera, y Nicaragua, across the border into Nicaragua, a to fight against Somoza. Yo nunca combatí, I never fought, pero yo anduve buscando apoyo político, apoyo militar y armas. but I was looking for moral support yo and financial support and for arms. Pero aunque no era combatiente, era militante de la revolución. Even though I was not a combatant, no, no I was a militant in the revolution. A finales del 79, at no, the bueno, end, quiero decir una cosa. At the end of 79, no, I want to say something else. Se me olvidaba algo importante. I forgot something important. El presidente de los Estados Unidos, Jimmy Carter, the president of the United States, Jimmy cortó Carter, cortó la ayuda militar al presidente Somoza. Cut off the military aid to President Somoza. Y en pocos meses logramos derrotar al ejército Somoza. And within a few months we defeated Somoza's army. Eso es importante recordar. This is important to remember. O sea, que los congresistas eh, cayeron la cuenta de lo que pasaba realmente allá, ¿no? So that the, the, the Congress people y understood what was really happening there. Y llegó el presidente Jimmy Carter y él cortó la ayuda. And the information got to Jimmy Carter and he cut off the aid. En el mes de julio del 79, In July of 1979, nos dicen lo que vinieron a nosotros, vamos a hacer una invasión a Nicaragua para liquidar al ejército ya, lo último. The guerrillas said we're going to do an invasion of Nicaragua against the army. This will be the final offensive. Queremos que ustedes desde San José, Costa Rica, we want you in San Jose, Costa Rica, las nuevas leyes del nuevo país. To write the laws for the new country. Había que hacer un país nuevo completamente. We had to make a completely new country. Yo le dije a mi compañero, me parece muy importante esta misión. And I told my companions, I think this is a very important mission. Yo le pido permiso. But I want to ask you for permission. Yo quiero que me dejen ir a Nicaragua. I want you to let me go back to Nicaragua. Yo quiero estar allá. I want to be there together with the people. No combatiendo. No Not fighting. Misión. That Pero wasn't my mission. Apoyando los que están combatiendo. But, a, but supporting those that are fighting. Y apoyando al pueblo. And supporting que van a estar cayendo bombas. And supporting the people on whom Yo bombs will be falling. Ya lo había hecho antes Somoza. Somoza had done this before of, of bombing civilians. Junto al pueblo. I want to be together with the people. No en un hotel en Costa Rica. Not in a hotel in Costa Rica. Me dieron permiso, me fui para allá. They let me go and I went back. Ahí estuve hasta el 19 de julio que fue el día del triunfo. And I was there on the, the July 19th which was the time of the revolution. Yo salí a la calle pegando gritos. I went out día, shouting into the streets shouting with joy. Y sus principales generales se habían ido en un avión a Miami. Somoza and his generals had taken a plane and gone to Miami, and they had left Nicaragua. Después de 45 años, After 45 ya years, no hay en there wasn't a single Somoza in Nicaragua, de en las calles. and there was so much joy in the streets. Y cuando veo que están entrando autobuses, and I started seeing er, buses coming techo, in with people sitting on the roofs, the gorillas coming down from the mountains. Y a veces algunos de los que habían estado conmigo en el movimiento cristiano revolucionario de la universidad que venían de combatir 
And I recognized some of those who'd been in the Christian Revolutionary Movement who'd gone into the mountains in the guerrillas. And so I was waving at them with great joy. No había cohetes para celebrar. Ellos celebraban el saludo disparando su fusil. They didn't have fireworks to celebrate, but they were celebrating by, by firing their guns. La alegría más grande en mi vida. It was the greatest joy in my life. A los tres días Three del days triunfo, after the trial, when they were organizing the new government, sin experiencia que pasan a gobernar, guerrillas without any experience who are now governing, algunas cosas improvisaron, some things were improvised, algunas cosas no se consultaron, some things they didn't con Yo consult en el on. De la comunidad, so I'm driving along in the car and the community because I was back living with my, the Jesuits in my community. And I'm listening to the news. La and I hear the following news item. We inform you que ya en that we've named a new ambassador to Washington. Hemos al Padre we've, we've named Father Fernando Cardenal. Me tuve que en la cuneta. I had to pull over to the side of the road. Yo dije, yo no voy de but I said to myself, I am not going as an ambassador. I want to be with the people. I've been a very disciplined militant up till now. But now I can't obey the revolution that wants to send me as an ambassador. I want to be with the people. I wrote him a letter telling him I would not accept. Four days later I was summoned. And I thought they're going to insist on my accepting the, the role as the ambassador. And I was firm that I was not going to do this. And I was going to tell them. So I was going to tell them, if you all want me in Washington, shoot me and send my body, but I'm not going alive. But when I got there, they said to me, when we were, when we were fighting in the mountains, we promised the peasants that when we triumphed, we were going to have a literacy campaign to teach all the people of Nicaragua to read and write. Because we knew that more than half of the population didn't know how to read and write. And they said, we've been in government for a week. We have to begin to carry out this promise. And I thought, fantastic, a, a campaign that will cover the entire country, great idea. And then they said, well, yes, but we've decided that you should organize this campaign. And I thought two things. First of all, this is my thing. El que no sabe leer because the peasant who doesn't know how to read is poorer than the, Entonces, than the peasant who knows how to read. Leer a todos los de so to teach to read all Fantástico. of the poor peasants of Nicaragua is great. Es this is my thing. Pero pensé, but I also thought, yo solo he sido un I've only been a university professor. Nunca organizado nada Ni tan grande. I've never organized anything no so big. I don't have any experience in organization. Pero yo pensé, yo tengo que but I thought to myself, I have no to accept sé this. Cómo lo haré. I don't know how I'll do it, Pero voy a but I'm going to do it. Dije, so I said, count on me. Y me fui para mi casa and I went home thinking, what am, ah, I, bueno, what am I going to do? Me dieron, hay un agravante. But there was a complicating factor. Me la orden, they gave me the order, no me dieron dinero. but they didn't give me any money. <laughs> No había dinero. There wasn't any money. Somoza se llevó a Miami todos los dólares del Banco Central. Somoza had taken with him to Miami the entire treasury of the country from the Central Bank. Un nuevo gobierno comienza sin un solo dólar. So the new government was starting out without a single dollar. Me dan una orden, pero no me dan dinero. So they gave me this, this task and, and no money. Yo hice lo que hice siempre. En momentos difíciles, acudir a los jóvenes. And I did what I always do in difficult moments, I turn to the young people. Y pedí a los jóvenes de Nicaragua. And I asked the young people of Nicaragua. Una gran campaña de motivación. 
to, there was a, a big campaign of recruitment que se de to, to, to be volunteers para ir a vivir cinco meses to go live five months a la montaña, in the mountains en la casa cada uno de un campesino, each one in the house of a different peasant family para leer y escribir a todos los campesinos. to teach all of the peasants how to read and write. Bueno, yo hice la motivación. Well, I sent out Luego, the call pedimos que se apuntaran los voluntarios and we asked them to sign up se ofrecieron de voluntarios 60.000 jóvenes. 60, young people en un país que entonces tenía 3 millones de habitantes nada más. En un country that at that time only had 3 million inhabitants. Es un grupo muy grande. That's a very great proportion. Era una cosa muy difícil. And it was something that was very difficult. Porque los campesinos vivían en mucha pobreza. Because the, the peasants Era, lived in situation cinco meses. of great poverty and it was to live with them for five months. Y además surgió la contrarrevolución. And then also the the counter revolution had begun. La contrarrevolución es el grupo de los soldados derrotados de Somoza. The counter revolution was formed by some of them, the defeated de soldiers odio, of Somoza who were full of hate. Se organizaron. They organized. Contra para destruir la revolución. In order to overthrow or destroy the revolution. Eso era la contrarrevolución. And that was the counter revolution. Cuando yo estaba organizando la campaña and when que I se llamó Cruzada Nacional de Fuentes Cruzada and when I was organizing the campaign which we called the Literacy Crusade ellos dijeron they said todo joven que vaya a alfabetizar every young person who goes to, to work in the campaign we're going to kill them con las plumas le sacaremos los ojos with their pencils we will poke out their eyes dijeron cosas muy fuertes they said some very strong things pero tengan en cuenta que lo que están amenazando so that you will realize Son criminales profesionales. Oh, you need to realize that those who were giving these threats were professional criminals mm -hmm. El que vaya, lo matamos. and they said anyone who goes we will kill them El día que comenzamos ya a cumplir nuestra misión de llevar a los jóvenes a las montañas and the day that we began to send the young people to the mountains se presentaron de voluntarios se presentaron de voluntarios the volunteers who showed up el número de 60, were 60,000 not one became, Por eso en mi memoria yo puse was cowardly so, so the cover of my book is a photo when the young people were leaving for the mountains el momento en que comenzamos a sacar en camiones a los 60,000 jóvenes. The moment in which the 60,000 young people la mejor fotografía que tengo de mi vida. sent off. This is the best photograph from my life. Bueno, nosotros hicimos cosas difíciles en la oficina. We did difficult things in the office. Porque además a mí se me ocurrió. Because it also occurred to me que era importante que tuvieran un uniforme de alfabetizadores para que todos los reconocieran y los respetaran en las montañas. That it would be important for them to have uniforms for the crusade so that everyone would be able to recognize them and treat them with respect Porque in the mountains. Saben lo que es ir a una tienda. But do you have any idea what it would be like to go to a store? Hace 35 años. This is 35 years ago. En Managua, voy a decir quiero en, en Managua, 120 mil blue jeans. And say I want 120,000 pairs of blue Casi jeans. Casi se muere el vendedor. The salesperson would die. Voy a una fábrica de camisas, quiero 120 mil camisas como esta. Or go to a shirt factory and say I want 120,000 shirts like this. They Voy would almost die. Voy a una tienda die. de zapatos. Or go to a shoe store. Digo quiero 60 mil pares de botas. And say I want 60,000 pairs of boots. Otro que se escapa de morir. Another one would almost die. Voy a una tienda de mochilas. Or go to a, a store with backpacks. Pido 60 mil mochilas. And ask for 60,000 backpacks. Voy a una tienda de hamacas and go to a hammock store y pido 60, hamacas, and they ask for 60,000 hammocks so they could hang them up at any place in the, in the peasant's house. Hicimos. But we did it. Hicimos cosas difíciles. We did difficult things. Pero comparado con lo que hicieron estos jóvenes en la montaña, but compared with what these young people did in the mountains, bueno, fue pequeño. what we did was very small. Tuve una gran ayuda. I had a great deal of help. El dinero lo conseguimos. We got the money. Sí. Pero había que comprar fuera de Nicaragua. But we had to buy things outside of Nicaragua. Cosas que no existían ni, ni por asomo. Pues, no. 
no había ninguna cifra ni parecida a lo que estaba pidiendo. There wasn't, there weren't numbers of these kinds of things even, even near in Nicaragua. Un norteamericano. But one day a North American. Que había sido sacerdote en California. Who'd been a priest in California. Se había, había dejado el sacerdocio. He left the priesthood. Se había casado. He'd gotten married. Llegó con su mujer y dos niños. He came with his wife and two children. Llega a mi oficina y dice aquí vengo. And he came to my office and said here I am. Esta campaña de I'm come to support the literacy campaign. Póngame usted lo que quiera. Put me to do whatever you need. Vengo voluntario. I'm coming as a volunteer. Él era alto y colorado. He Ay, was colorado. tall and red-haired. Diez minutos. ¿Cómo? Diez minutos. Diez minutos. Sí. Bueno. Le pusimos de nombre el vikingo. We called him the Viking. <laughs> Al vikingo que se llamaba Nunca lo olvidaremos, John McFadden. The Viking, I'll never forget his name, was Yo John McFadden. A Miami, I sent him to Miami. Con cheques míos, firmados. With, with signed blank checks. En blanco, sin poner cantidad. In blank, without having put a quantity. El vikingo podía poner en Miami cinco millones de dólares. He could have put in five million dollars in Miami. Al de Nicaragua. And, and cash the check against the Nicaraguan Central Bank. Lo que él hacía era gastar hasta el último dólar But he spent en comprar estas cosas que necesitaba. Every single cent Me mandaba aviones, aviones cargados. He sent us airplanes full con todas estas cosas. Of all of these things. Bueno, en la, en la oficina hicimos cosas importantes. So in the office we did important things. Pero comparado But compared to what they did, the young people, Hay muchas cosas que contar, pero quiero terminar con dos anécdotas de estos jóvenes. Okay, there are many things I could tell you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna finish with two small stories about these young people. Tienen que ir a su clase. I, I know I have to finish because some of you have to go to class. There's lots of more things to Aquí tell you. Aquí hay quinientas cosas más. There are fifty five hundred things here. Mataran. El ejército. The attempts of the army to kill me. A otros. They killed others. Yo quedé vivo. And I'm still alive. Por suerte. By milagro, luck, miracle. Yo no lo sé, aquí estoy de I don't know, but here I am still in front of you. Aquí están todas esas aventuras. And here are all Pero my contar, adventures. Terminar, dos cosas de estos but I want to tell you Teníamos two things radio, about these young people. We had a radio to communicate with the entire country. Una tarde, and one day they told me Matagalpa, that in Matiguas, in the department of Matagalpa, a, una a young woman had been raped. Ellos en they were in, divided into squadrons. 30 muchachos, 30 muchachas. Three, 30 girls or 30 young men. La noticia se extendió por la montaña. And the news had gone all the way through the mountains. Y tres cuadras, and three of the squadrons de la montaña, had come down from the mountains, three of the girls, to Matagoas. Me, me and they told me on the radio no montaña, that they were not going to go back in the mountains without talking to me. Voy para allá. So I went there. Las Llego casi a medianoche. I got there almost at midnight. Las encuentro sentadas en el suelo en una escuela que no tenía pupitre en el suelo. I found them sitting on the floor of a school that didn't have any desks. And they had a Coleman lantern for light. Y al entrar me dice una de ellas. And when I got there one of them said. En nombre de dos escuadras. In the name of tal. two of the squadrons. Cada una tenía el nombre de un héroe. Each of them was named for one of the heroes. Ya no me acuerdo los nombres de los héroes. I don't remember the names Podría of these. Podría haber sido el nombre de la escuadra Eduardo Contreras. The name of the squad could have been Eduardo Contreras. Cuando el ejército mató a Marcos, a mi amigo. When the, when the army killed Marcos, Yo my friend. Yo supe que se llamaba Eduardo Contreras. I found out that his name was Eduardo Entonces, Contreras. Entonces la escuadra podía haberse llamado Eduardo Contreras o Carlos Fonseca, el fundador. Pero, so the squad could have been named for. Los nombres no tienen importancia. Eduardo Contreras, or the founder of Carlos Fonseca, but the name doesn't matter. Nosotros exigimos para regresar a la montaña que usted se comprometa con nosotros. And we said that, and the young woman said to me, we demand before we to return to the mountains a que no va a haber otra violación. that you promise us that no one else will be raped. Yo le dije, Mire, le voy a con toda and I said, I'm going to speak to you very frankly Como que fueran mis hijas. as if you were my daughters. No tengo instrumentos en mi mano para garantizar eso que ustedes me piden. It's not in my power to promise you what you're asking. Si ustedes durmieran todas en una escuela, if you were all sleeping in one school, 
Yo les pongo escolta militar. I could put a, a military guard around you and you could sleep peacefully. Aquí, but, en casa un but one of you is in a peasant house. Otra en otra casa otro campesino. Another one's in another house. A 500 metros, otra en otra casa otro campesino. 500 meters away, another one, another a 500 house. Metros, otra. And at 600 meters, another one. You're all scattered throughout the mountains. ¿Cómo puedo yo How can I protect you? No tengo instrumentos. It's not in my power. Esta es la realidad. And this is reality. Sobre esta realidad, ustedes tienen que tomar una decisión. Given this reality, you'll have to make a decision. Y la decisión que ustedes tomen, yo la voy a respetar. And I will respect whatever decision you make. Vayan atrás ahora. Go back and talk. Y decidan. And decide. Hablaron, regresaron. They talked, they came back. Me dice una joven. One of them said to me, nosotras no queremos abandonar a nuestro campesino. We don't want to leave our peasants. Y hemos decidido regresar a la montaña. And we have decided to go back to the mountains. 60 mountain. jóvenes. Six of, 60 of the young women. 15 años para arriba y universidad. 15 years up through the university. Jovencitas. Young women. Mira, yo muchas veces me escapé de morir de tantas cosas tremendas que pasé. Ahí casi me, casi me muero de la emoción. Many times I nearly died because of different things that happened, but at this time it was because of being so moved. Las, las 60, eran dos cuadras, 60. So it was two of the squads, 60 young women, montaña. going back to the mountains. Si eso no es valor, if that isn't courage, compromiso con su misión, commitment to their mission, fuerza interior, interior strength, amor a los campesinos, love for the peasants. Si eso no es coraje y, y valentía, ¿qué if, es? If this isn't courage and valor, eso es extraordinario. This is extraordinary. Por eso yo dije que en la oficina hicimos cosas importantes. That's why I say that in the office Porque we did important things. En comparación de lo que hicieron estos jóvenes. But it was small compared to what these young people did. Entonces, no se vayan, no se vayan. And I said, don't leave. I, de cada una de ustedes como de una heroína viva. I wanted to say goodbye to each one of you individually as a living hero. Una por una de las so I said goodbye one by one to the 16 girls lleno de with a hug full of admiration, por respect mujer. for their commitment. Se yendo las and they left the 16. Una. And then one said to me, de la escuadra, in the name of the third squad, Decimos que nosotros tampoco queremos abandonar a nuestros campesinos. We also do not want to leave our peasants. Pero queremos que usted nos traslade a un lugar más cerca de la ciudad de Matagalpa, que es la capital del departamento. But we would like you to move us nearer to the city of Matagalpa, which was the capital perfect. of the province. And so I said, perfect. Alquiló un camión y lo trasladé a San Ramón a 25 kilómetros de Matagalpa. And I took them to San Ramón, 25 kilometers from Matagalpa. Hablé con el responsable de la cruzada ahí. I talked to the person in charge of the crusade there. For to distribute them, and I left. Las 60 de la montaña y las 30 de San Ramón. The 60 in the mountains. Estuvieron the, hasta el final cumpliendo su misión. And the 30 in San Ramón stayed to the very end, carrying out their mission. Segunda anécdota. Second story. Estoy en mi oficina. I'm in my office. Me avisan una mañana. And they tell me. Que en Yali, departamento de Ginotega. En Yali, in the depart, in the province of Ginotega. Junto a la frontera con Honduras. Uh, near the frontier with Honduras. Eh, en Honduras había campamentos de la contra revolución. In Honduras there were camps of the contra revolution. Protegidos por el gobierno hondureño. Protected by the Honduran government. Entraban a atacar a Nicaragua. They would go into Nicaragua and attack. Y regresaban a Honduras. And then go back to Honduras. Entró un grupo. One group came in. Y encontró caminando a dos jóvenes. And they ran into two young women that were walking. De la cruzada. From the crusade. Un momento. And they said, a minute, y estúpidas, you are silly and no stupid. A you haven't believed our threats. En serio. And, but this is serious. Y que lo sepan todos. And so that all of you will know en la de Nicaragua, in all the mountains of Nicaragua que esta es en serio. that our threats are serious Para que vean que es en serio, so that you see that we're serious. Con la we'll start with the first one. Le pegaron un tiro a Marta Lorena Vargas. And they shot in the head Marta, Marta Lorena, Lorena Vargas. Varga. Una jovencita cerca de mi oficina. A young woman near my office. Su familia vive cerca de mi oficina. Her, off, her family lived near my office. Cuando yo escucho esa información me lleno 
de una tristeza profunda. And when I heard this information, I was filled with great saddest, tremendo ese crimen atroz. And rejection of this atrocious crime. Esta muchachita. This little young woman. El gran pecado es que está enseñando a leer y escribir a los campesinos. Her great sin was teaching the peasants how to read and write. ¿Por qué la contrarrevolución quería destruir la campaña? ¿Por qué? And, and why did the counter-revolution want to destroy the crusade? Porque ellos se dan cuenta. Because they realized que esto iba a ser algo muy bello. That this was going to be something really beautiful, 60,000 young people. Enseñándole a los campesinos, era una cosa bellísima. Going to the mountains and teaching the peasants. Iba a tener una repercusión internacional. This was beautiful and would have international repercussions. También hasta en África me han preguntado de la campaña. Even in, in Africa, they've talked to me about, asked me about it. Ellos lo preveían, lo imaginaban. And they could foresee this. Y no querían ese triunfo para la revolución. And they didn't want this triumph for the revolution. Que no se dé. That they didn't want it to happen. Matan a Marta Lorena. So they killed Marta Lorena. Me voy en uno de los helicópteros. I go in one of the helicopters. A la, a la escuadra de Marta Lorena. To her squad. Marta Lorena's squad. Llego allá. Yo les confieso que llevaba un miedo. And I got there and I have to confess that I was Poco afraid. Miedo. Poco miedo de que en la montaña, al I, saber la noticia, I was afraid that in the mountains as they heard about this, a a sus casas. some of them would start to go home. Los que están amenazando, Those who were threatening son criminales were criminals que habían matado a 50, personas. who killed 50,000 people. No son unas personas inocentes they weren't innocent people que están en oposición. No, son criminales. In opposition, they're criminals. La noticia, bueno, yo voy con miedo de que comiencen algunos. So I went allá, with the fear that they would begin to leave. And I, I encountered the 29 young women in a, in a line con dos logan, con dos and they greeted me with two slogans. Ni a balazo, ni a patadas, nos de la in both these rhymes in Spanish. Ni a patadas, nos Neither with de la bullets nor kicks ni a balazo, will they get ni a us patadas. out of the crusade. A mí se me quitó el miedo cuando lo and when I heard that I, I was no longer afraid. Y ella afirmando que ahí se quedan. That was her squad and they que were nadie los saca. That they were saying, that they were staying, that nothing would get them out of there. Otra vez valentía, Again, coraje, courage, amor, valor, love. Tremendo, fuerza. Tremendous strength. Segunda consigna. And the second slogan. La patria no será totalmente liberada. The country will not be totally liberated. Hasta que esté completamente alfabetizada. Until it is totally alphabetized. We had the political and, la del and government liberty. We still needed the, the freedom from illiteracy. Decision, firmeza, Decision, firmness, commitment. La idea, la información llegó a todas las montañas. And the, the, the news went through the entire mountains. <coughs> ¿Saben cuántos se bajaron you know a how many came down from the mountains? Por miedo a esta amenaza. Because of fear of this threat. Ni uno. Not ni uno. one. No. Entonces mataron a un alfabetizador. So they killed a member of the crusade. Crimen con mensaje. A crime with a message. A we'll kill you all. Ya segundo crimen. And then second one. Ni uno solo. Se bajó de la montaña. No one else came. No one came down. Mataron un tercero. A third one. Mataron a una cuarta. Fourth one. Con mensaje. With a en message. En serio. This is serious. Mataron a cinco. A fifth one. Mataron a seis. Sixth one. Mataron a siete. Seventh one. Después de matar a siete. After killing seven. Ellos comprendieron que con estos jóvenes era imposible. They understood that it wasn't going to be possible no to scare them off. No podían con estos jóvenes. That they couldn't do anything against these young people. De matar. And they stopped killing. Después de siete crímenes. After seven crimes. Porque pensaron que era inútil seguir matando. Because they realized it was no useless. Nada. To keep killing that they were not Mira, achieving anything. En mi patria hay... Sí, ya, con esto terminamos. And, and with this we finish. En mi patria hay... En parques hay monumentos a héroes de la independencia. There are parks that have statues to heroes of the independence. A todos esos héroes los respetamos. And we respect all those heroes. Pero para mí, but for me, los más grandes héroes de la historia de Nicaragua están aquí. The greatest heroes in the history of Nicaragua Esta are juventud. here. These young people. Eso es lo más heroico que tiene. This is the, the most Nicaragua. heroic thing we have. Se enfrentaron a los criminales. They stood up to the criminals. Y los dominaron. 
and they dominated them Por amor. because of love Con una gran valentía. with great courage Desde aquí hago un honor a los siete que fueron asesinados. so I want to pay homage to the seven that were killed los 60, and the, the 60,000 who stayed in their posts to the end en Paris, la UNESCO, in Paris la, la Organización de la Educación y la Cultura de la Nación Unida UNESCO, el premio a la alfabetización the Organization for Culture and Education of the Premio UN gave us a prize, but it was a prize that Pero they earned. Se lo dieron a Nicaragua en mi nombre. They gave it to Nicaragua in my name. Pero bueno, habría mil cosas más que contar, pero se acabó el tiempo. But there, there'd be a thousand pero, other things to say, but clase? time is up, you have to go to class. Eh, me despido, pero que so I, irse. I say goodbye to those who have to leave. Les agradezco que hayan venido. I thank you for coming. A escuchar un poco de historia. To listen to a little of my story. Mis amigos están traduciendo en Nicaragua al inglés. My friends in Nicaragua are translating my memoirs into English. Pronto podrá venir en inglés. It's almost done, and so soon you'll be able to read it in English. Porque hay cosas del pueblo de Nicaragua, cosas bien interesantes. Because there are things, there are very interesting things in the story of Nicaragua, but we'll finish here. Muy bonito, exactamente son la una y cuarenta. And he said exactly at one forty. Que se quedan podemos preguntar aprovechar hoy unos minutos si quieren comentar algo si quieren preguntar algo por un momento muchas gracias padre <coughs> su promesa personal de vivir en solidaridad con aquellos que se enfrentan a una situación de mayor pobreza y vulnerabilidad ha sido motivo de gran inspiración para mí y con certeza de todos los aquí presentes. Su historia es una de dedicación, sacrificio y lo que es más importante, amor. Ha llegado al corazón de muchas personas y lo ha seguido haciendo aquí en la Universidad de John Carroll. Es un honor para nosotros contar con su presencia y le damos las gracias por haber venido. Que, de, que Dios lo bendiga. Thank you for your words. Thank you again for sharing your story with us. Your personal promise to live in solidarity with those who are most poor and vulnerable was incredibly inspirational for me, and I can only assume it had a similar effect on everyone here. Your story was one of dedication, sacrifice, and most importantly, love. It has touched the hearts of many people and has continued to do so here at John Carroll. We thank you for your time and presence with us here today. May God bless you abundantly. <laughs>